Hello friends, my name is Catherine and welcome to Storytime. Let's start with our welcome song. Welcome, 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 welcome. How are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. How about you? How about you? Welcome friends. Let's sing some songs. Why don't we do nursery rhymes today? Let's do Humpty Dumpty. Here we go. Hickory Dickory. Okay, here we go. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two, one, two. The mouse went for a story. Why don't we read this one? It also has a mouse in it. It's called Sort It Out by Barbara Maraconda, illustrated by Sherry Rogers. Packrat collected a whole bag of stuff. His mother said, Packy, enough is enough. Empty that stuff you've collected today, then sort it all out and put it away. A turtle, a locket, a marble, a book, an acorn, a needle are all things that he took. An egg, an umbrella, a brush, and some thread are just some of the things he spilled out on his bed. A kettle, a pine cone, some yarn, and a clover are more of the things Packy had to look over. A string bean and cherry were in his collection with pieces of sandpaper for his inspection. But before he could put all these treasures away, he grouped them with things that they're like in some way. He sorted them this way and that way and then. He looked them all over and sorted again. The turtle, the clover, the skinny string bean, he placed in a pile made of things that are green. The turtle, the egg, and the acorn that fell, these are all things with a hard outer shell. The acorn, the pine cone, the cherry you see, all of these things can be plucked from a tree. The cherry, the marble, the yarn tightly wound, these are examples of things that are round. The yarn, the needle, and thread are, you know, all things that we use when we knit, stitch, or sew. The needle, the locket, the dented tin kettle, all these three things have been made out of metal. The locket, umbrella, and book that he chose, these are all things you can open and close. 
the sandpaper, pinecone, and brush, sure enough, are all some things that feel scratchy and rough. Still, as he sat in his room full of clutter, shaking his head, Packy started to mutter. He scratched at his head and said, I've been thinking. Why does it seem my collection is shrinking? My kettle is missing, my umbrella and book, the egg and the cherry, my yarn. Mom, come look! She shrugged and she shoved all his stuff in a heap, all of the stuff he intended to keep. But then, how surprising, when his mother was through, they discovered his red checkered bag was gone too. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. Well, let's do something that Packy did. Why don't we sort something together? And I happen to have these party hats. They're really colorful. What do you notice about them? Something that's the same about them. They're all the same shape. It's called a triangle, right? What's different about them? The colors. And what about the patterns? This is striped and these are polka dot. So let's sort them right now by pattern. Let's see, we've got two polka dots. Why don't we group them together up here? And then let's put all the stripes together down there. So see, we've sorted out the stripes and the polka dots together. What if we sorted them by color of pom-pom? Let's put the yellow ones together. Hmm, looks like these two are yellow. Let's put them together, and then all the white ones down here. And now we've grouped and sorted them by color of pom-pom. And if we say we want to group them by shape, well, they're all triangles, so all of them would be in one group together. It's another way to sort and group. Well, I have a song about a hat that is exactly this shape and size. It's called, My Hat Has Three Corners. One, two, three. And I need your help because we're going to be doing some hand signs with it. So when we sing hat, tap your head like this. And when we sing three, put three little fingers up like that. And then when we sing corners, put your fingers together like that, make them into a corner. Okay, here we go. We're going to drop out some words, but you can just follow along with me. Here we go. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. And had it not three corners, it would not be my hat. Okay, now we're going to sing it, but don't sing hat and just tap your head. Okay, here we go. You can do it. My, it has three corners. Three corners has my, and had it not three corners, it would not be my. Okay, very good. Now let's drop out the word three. Okay, here we go. My, it has corners, corners has my, and had it not corners, it would not be my. Nice. Okay. Now this time we're not going to sing corners as well. Here we go. My, it has, has my, and had it not, it would not be my. Very good. You did it. I don't know about you, but did you hear the melody playing in your ear and in your head as you were dropping out those words? Well, I did. Let's read one more story today. And in this one, it's all about collecting and sorting. It's called The Puddle Pail by Elisa Clevin. One bright morning after a storm, Ernst, a young blue crocodile, and his big green brother, Sol, set off for the beach. They skipped through the wet grass and stamped through the mud, drumming on their shiny pails. I'm going to fill my pail with shells, said Sol, who loved to collect things. 
I'm going to fill my pail with sand and build a sand castle, said Ernst, who loved to make things. Maybe I'll find some rocks, too, said Sol. All shapes and colors for my rock collection and some feathers for my feather collection and maybe some string. Sol bent down to pick up a rubber band. Just the thing for my rubber band collection. You ought to start a collection, Ernst. I don't know what to collect, Ernst replied. Collect something you really like, said Sol. Something that comes in all different sizes and colors and shapes. That way your collection will be interesting. Ernst watched the clouds make flower shapes and seahorse shapes in the windy sky. He watched a little snake cloud puff up into a dragon. He watched a rabbit cloud curl into a ball. Clouds are interesting, he said. I wish I could collect clouds. Clouds, exclaimed Sol. You can't collect clouds. Think of something else you like. Stars, said Ernst, imagining the sky at night. I love to watch the stars. But you can't collect stars either, said Sol. They're too far away and too big and very, very hot. They look so small and cold, said Ernst. I wish I could collect stars. I know, said Sol. Starfishes, you could collect them. I like starfishes in the ocean, said Ernst, but I don't think I want to collect them. Well, Sol suggested, what about star-shaped cookies? You could collect star-shaped butter cookies with frosting. And star-shaped chocolate cookies with sprinkles, Ernst added. And star-shaped cherry cookies with toasted nuts, said Sol. Ernst's mouth watered. I wish I could collect a bunch of cookies right now in my stomach. Just then, something caught Sol's eye, a bottle cap lying in a puddle. Look at that sparkly bottle cap, Ernst. You can start a bottle cap collection. It's pretty, Ernst agreed, but I like the puddle it's in even more. The puddle, said Sol. It looks like a little piece of the sky on the ground. I wish I could collect it. You can't collect puddles, said Sol. Yes, I can collect puddles, said Ernst. They're not too far away or too big or too hot. And I don't want to eat them. Splish, splash. Ernst scooped the puddle into his pail. Ernst said Sol. You're not really going to start a puddle collection, are you? Yes, said Ernst. I am. He scooped up a green puddle, round as a saucer. Splash, splash. It joined the other puddle in the pail. Sol rolled his eyes. Since you're going to stay here collecting puddles, I'll go down to the beach by myself and collect real things. Puddles are real, thought Ernst, as he searched for more to collect. Here's a purple puddle, and a striped one, and a flowered one. Here's a puddle full of diamonds and a puddle full of squares. A puddle full of gumballs and a puddle full of brooms. A puddle like an Easter egg, a puddle like a wheel, and a puddle with a pretzel in it. Slippery puddles, smooth puddles, lemony, lettery, cool puddles. Ernst sang a song as he scooped the puddles up. Splish, splash, sang the puddles as they slid into the pail. Sol came back with his pail piled high. Look what I got, Ernst. Twelve seashells, eight feathers, nineteen little rocks, three clumps of seaweed a marble, half a nutshell, and a plastic dinosaur without a head. I got lots of puddles, Ernst announced, all different sizes and colors and shapes. 
Sol peered into Ernst's pail. Your puddles have all run together. They look like a pail full of ordinary water. They're one big puddle now, said Ernst. An Ernst and Sol puddle. That's the weirdest collection I've ever heard of, Sol replied. What can you do with a puddle? I'll think of something. Ernst carried his pail carefully as they started for home. I know, said Sol. You can help me wash the sand off my new collections. You can wash your own collections, Ernst replied. I'll think of something else to do with my puddle. Ernst set his puddle pail on the grass and sat down to swing. While he swung, his puddle slowly turned from gold to pink. Clouds swam in and out of it like fishes. When night fell, stars collected in the puddle pail, and a little piece of the moon, too. Early the next morning, Ernst went out to check on his pail. A thirsty dog was drinking from it. You like my magic puddle soup? Ernst asked. The dog wagged her tail and drank some more, leaving Ernst just enough water to paint some watercolor pictures. Ernst painted the dog, and he painted some clouds and some stars and many puddles. Sol came by, his pail filled with flowers and acorns and leaves. I started some new collections, he said. What have you got there, Ernst? A dog, replied Ernst, and a painting collection. Ooh, said Sol. What a collection, with clouds and stars and everything. I used part of my puddle collection to make it, Ernst explained. The dog drank the other part. Ernst petted the dog. He looked at the clouds and the stars and the puddles shining on the grass. He felt proud and happy and hungry, too, since he hadn't eaten breakfast yet. Let's go collect blackberries, he said, from the bushes down the road. Good idea. Sol grabbed his pail. Maybe we'll find some pennies on the way and some pine cones and gum wrappers. And maybe some shadows, too, said Ernst. Shadows, said Sol. You can't. Yes, I can collect shadows, Ernst cried. He caught one for a second in his pail. And when it fluttered off, he and Sol filled their pails and themselves with sweet, juicy blackberries. The End I hope you enjoyed that story. Well, we've come to the end of story time, so let's sing our farewell song. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thank you for coming, friends, and I'll see you next time.